Yes, Gawa. <laughs> This video shows how to accomplish homing with the Yaskawa Sigma Logic Servo in Ars Logix 5000. Here's a quick preview. Choose a homing type, wire and test any required sensors, set the parameters of the MAH instruction, and start the homing routine. Troubleshoot parameter errors with alarm text and clear them with the MAFR instruction. After power-up, a homing move sequence is used to align the machine to a repeatable position. This final stopping point is established as any arbitrary position, often zero. For this example, the SigmaLogic system is fully functional and can be commanded by the PLC over Ethernet IP. This is the same setup as shown in the Quick Start video series. This example uses RS Logix 5000 version 20. In the RS Logix software environment, Yaskawa claims expertise only in the functionality of our AOIs and in configuration of the Ethernet IP connection to Sigma Logic. This is not training on RS Logix or application programming. All RS Logix programming and networking questions should be directed to Rockwell. The entire homing sequence is controlled through Motion Access Home. MAH underscore Yaskawa. In this example, variables have been created for each of the input parameters. The most fundamental parameter for MAH is home type. Details are given in the help for the AOI. Three basic home types are supported. Home to hard stop, home to over travel switch, and home to flag. The encoder's C pulse can be used in the final sequence to further improve repeatability. And a custom move sequence can also be created in RS Logix to move the motor to a repeatable position, and then the MAHSP instruction can be used to set the position. This video will demonstrate each of the three homing types in RS Logix. Home to hard stop is home type 1. Hard stop homing applies to linear mechanisms without end of travel limit sensors. This means the over travel function of the Sigma logic is disabled. Hard stop homing is a sequence of three moves back off, approach, and offset. The AOI parameters will be discussed in the order of the move sequence. First, set back off distance to a small value. Keep it small in order to avoid the possibility of reversing into the opposite hard stop. I'll enter 5 millimeters. Direction applies to the approach move. It is set to 1, meaning reverse, to approach the reverse hard stop. Speed and XL decel also defined as approach move. And I'll use 40 millimeters per second and 200 millimeters per second squared. The approach move will stop when the hard stop is reached and the motor torque rises to the percentage set in torque limit. For torque limit, estimate the torque with MCFG while jogging the motor. This axis is showing 3% out of 100% rated torque. And then set the torque limit somewhat higher. I'll try 20%. Offset distance and offset speed define the final offset move after detection of the hard stop. I have an offset speed of 25 millimeters per second, and I have experimentally determined that 108.142 millimeters is the correctly calibrated offset distance. Set position will be the servo's new position after the homing sequence completes. Zero is typical. You may have noticed three parameters are not used by the hard stop homing method. They are use C pulse, flag number, and creep speed. The values for those parameters are ignored. With the input parameters set, enable the servo and activate motion access home. First the back off, now the approach and offset. 
and MCFG shows the final position is zero. Home to over travel limit is home type two. This home type applies to mechanisms with limited travel distance and over travel sensors. In logic works under configure options, verify that use hardware over travels has been checked. Over travels should be normally closed proximity sensors wired to connector CN1, pins 7 and 8. Monitor, status and I.O. gives additional wiring and status information. The over travels are wired to inputs SI1 and SI2, flag 82 and 83. And I have previously tested that the over travels really do stop motion. Home to over travel consists of a sequence of four moves approach, back off, creep, and offset. I'll set the AOI parameters in the order of this move sequence. Torque limit applies to the entire homing sequence and must be set to 5% or higher. I'll use 20%. For homing type 2 to over travels, if the motor torque ever reaches this percentage of rated torque, homing will be cancelled and axis fault code 3, which is called torque limit exceeded, will be displayed in the alarm text. Direction applies to the initial approach move. I'll set it to move to the negative over travel in the reverse direction, which is a setting of 1. Set an appropriate speed and acceleration for the approach move. And keep in mind the system will stop abruptly at the over travel sensor, so don't set the speed too high. I'll set the speed to 20 millimeters per second and XL D cell to 200 millimeters per second squared. Next is the back off move. This is a short back off distance before finding that sensor again. I'll use 15 millimeters. Now the creep move. Set a creep speed to move slowly toward the sensor until it stops. I'll use 5 millimeters per second. Instead of creeping toward the sensor, use C pulse could be enabled to creep slowly away from the sensor, stopping at the encoder's C pulse. I'll leave this feature disabled in this example. Offset distance and offset speed define a final move away from the over travel sensor. I'll use an offset speed of 50 millimeters per second. And I have experimentally determined that 98.141 millimeters is the correctly calibrated offset distance. After the offset move, the set position will be zero. Flag number is not used during over travel homing and can be left at zero. With the input parameters set, enable the servo and activate motion axis home. Here's the approach move. The over travel is hit and the back off move, now creeping to the over travel and the final offset to the home position. And MCFG shows the home position is zero. Home to flag is home type three. Home to flag is used to home to a sensor and it can also be used to home to any logical condition set by the PLC through the axis output flag command bits. These flag bits are sent over Ethernet IP from the PLC to the Sigma logic. In this example, I'll use a normally open sensor wired to CN1 pin 9 named SI3, which is a flag 84. So set flag number to 84. The move sequence for home to flag is similar to home to over travel, consisting of the same four moves, approach, back off, creep, and offset. And again, a torque limit applies to the entire homing sequence and must be set to five or higher. I'll use 25%, which means if the torque exceeds 25% during homing, motion will stop. 
The first move in the sequence is the approach move. Since the home sensor is located on the positive side of the actuator, I'll approach it in the forward direction with a setting of zero and set an appropriate speed and acceleration. I'll set the approach speed to 20 millimeters per second and XL decel to 200 millimeters per second squared. We'll use a back off distance to move away from the flag position and I'll set that to 15. The creep speed will make the motor move slowly toward the flag position where it will stop. I'll set creep speed to 5 millimeters per second. And as before, use C pulse could be enabled to instead creep slowly away from the flag position, stopping accurately at the encoder's C pulse. For now, I'll just leave it off. Offset distance and offset speed define a final move away from the sensor. I'll use offset speed of 50 millimeters per second. And I have experimentally determined that 47.159 millimeters is the correctly calibrated offset distance. With the input parameters set, enable the servo and activate motion axis home. First, the approach move to the flag position, then back off, creep to find the flag position again, and the final offset move. And MCFG shows the home position is zero. I'll run it again, this time with use C pulse set to one for enable. First, the approach move to the flag position, then back off and creep to find the next encoder C pulse and the final offset move. The home position is affected and can be adjusted by calibrating the offset distance. Home to flag does have one limitation. If the load is on the opposite side of the flag position when homing starts, a linear axis will hit the hard stop or over travel first. In these cases, consider sequencing two homing routines. For example, first home to the over travel and then confidently home to the sensor. During development of the homing routine, it is common to have invalid parameters. For example, here I've left the torque limit parameter at zero. An axis fault code 13017 appears in the instruction. The MCFG block also reports this application error code. To see a text description, monitor the axis variable, which in this example is Yaskawa Servo 1. Expand to find element I for inputs and expand to see alarm text. And here it reads invalid homing parameter. To recover from any fault, the following four steps are to be executed in your code. First, release all active AOIs. MCFG does indicate if there is an AOI active. Second, toggle MAS to stop and abort all motion. Third, toggle MSF to ensure the servo is off. And fourth, toggle MAFR to reset all faults. Thanks for watching this video, and remember yaskawa.com slash sigmalogic for videos, documents, software, firmware, AOIs, and more.